Hello everyone, it's Mama Sa from Mama Sa Stories and today we've got a book written by Pamela Allen. We did one a few weeks ago about a zoo and a man that lived under a tree and this one's called Mr McGee and the Perfect Nest and the book's quite old, it was lent to me so it's kind of falling apart so if it falls apart while I'm reading you just hang on while I pick up the pages. <laughs> and there, oh did I show you the picture? Oh, there it is, Mr McGee and the Perfect Nest by Pamela Allen. Lazy Bird wanted to nest. Nothing would do except the best. Looks like a cheeky, really. A plucked one. Is this the perfect nest, she said? Said she, the nest that is right, just right for me? What do you think? Do you think that's the perfect nest for the bird? I don't think so. It looks like a teapot to me. Something I'd like to make a cup of tea in, not have a bird's bottomy. No! This nest is too small. It won't do at all. This isn't the nest that is just right for me. Said the lazy bird. Doesn't want to build its own nest. It wants to just find one. Is this the perfect nest, she said? The nest that is right, just right for me? <laughs> Looks like a dirty old garbage bin to me. Doesn't look like a very nice place to sleep at all. Would you like to sleep in a dirty old garbage bin? No? Okay. No! Screamed the lazy bird. This nest is too big, just right for a pig. This isn't the nest that is just right for me. <laughs> is this the perfect nest, she said? The nest that is right, just right for me? What do you think? Do you think that's the perfect nest for her? No, I don't think so. Looks like a pair of gumboots to me. This nest is too tall. See, it's going to fall. This isn't the nest that is just right for me. Is this the perfect nest, she said? The nest that is right, just right for me? What's she doing? She's looking at Mr. Gee and his umbrella. Oh my goodness, I hope she doesn't think that umbrella's gonna be her nest. Nice place to go when it's raining, though. Hiss, she said as she chased him. Hiss. It'd be a bit scary if a big bird made a hissing noise like that at me. Hiss, she said. said the lazy bird as it tried to turn his umbrella into her nest. <laughs> ah, said Mr. McGee as that lazy bird, what did he do? Stole his umbrella and flew away with it. Look at that. Maybe it is the nest for her, do you think? And look at that. What a cosy and perfect nest for her. And waterproof too. Beautiful idea. And then, wonder why she's got him by the top. And he's going, eee! He's a bit scared of that lazy bird who stole his umbrella. <laughs> said Mr. McGee as the bird picked him up and he flew through the sky. Oh, said Mr. McGee. He makes lots of noises, does Mr. McGee. <laughs> yes, said 
the lazy bird. This is the perfect nest, she cried. The nest that is right, just right for me. And there it is. What do you think about that? And that is the end of that. <laughs> That's a pushy bird, wasn't it? Lazy bird wants a nest. Nothing would do except the best. But what is the best? Well, apparently a lovely blue umbrella, but she wanted it to be warm and cozy, so she put Mr. McGee in there as well for a mattress. My goodness, I hope he escaped. And I hope you're ready to snuggle down and think about lazy birds. Maybe they could come and sleep in your bed with you. What do you think? Hmm, maybe. Good night, everyone. Love from Mama Sa. Hope you've cleaned your teeth.